Welcome back to Sekiro. Hello. That's Omni. Um, so in the last episode, I was having a lot of trouble at the Harada Estate, the place we went to after using that charm on the statue. It's like a, a memory that we can actually travel into. And it turns out we can actually leave as well. Didn't quite realize that at the time, but in between episodes, I used the uh, sculptor statue, traveled back to the dilapidated temple, and I did some stuff and I learned a lot. I have a lot of things to show you that I've learned and it's gonna make me a lot better at combat. So, first thing I did is I had some skill points to spend. Remember, get the esoteric text and I think something else at some point. Uh, but anyway, I had two skill points. It cost one to get this ability here, Whirlwind Slash. Spinning attack that can hit several enemies at once. The sharp cut combined with the force of the spin can strike multiple foes and deal damage even when guarded. When surrounded by enemies, this shinobi technique can cut open a path to victory. So I got that. That left me with one skill point, and the only other thing I get with one was this, Mid-Air Deflection. Allows one to guard against or deflect enemy attacks in mid-air. Guns and other projectile weapons deal additional damage to airborne targets, and this technique can serve to prevent that damage. A shinobi is not shot down so easily. So, I've got a couple abilities. Most important one definitely is the Whirlwind, because there were lots of very large groups that I was fighting at the Hirata Estate. So that should help a lot. But there's also just combat mechanics that I was not aware of until I did some more training. So let me go demonstrate. I practiced a bit off camera. I forgot exactly what I did to unlock more training types. I don't know if it was gaining a skill or doing free combat or something, but Anyway, it unlocked consecutive deflections, vitality and posture, countering thrust attacks, and countering sweep attacks, all of which taught me some very important stuff. So, let me demonstrate consecutive deflections. Deflecting once doesn't always mean an enemy will stop attacking. Consecutive attacks can be countered with consecutive deflections, which can greatly damage enemy posture. So... It's probably not immediately clear from that, but um, what I would often do in the past when an enemy was striking a lot in quick succession is just hold down the block button or deflect button, uh, guard button. I also learned the difference between guard and deflect. I'll talk more about that later. Um, but I would just hold down the guard button and just uh, weather all the attacks, which, you know, I wouldn't take any damage from it, but it would hurt my posture a lot. And it turns out you can actually press, like, just as if you press the deflect at just the right moment when they're striking, it will hurt their posture a lot. You can also do that when they're hitting you with flurries of blows. Like, you don't have to entirely come out of the deflect posture and, like, totally have your hands be at rest on your sides to do another deflect. You can actually do them in really quick succession, as you're about to see. So... I'm going to press deflect every time the sword's about to hit me. Deflect, 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 deflect. Deflect, 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 deflect. Huge difference. Yeah. Like deflect, flect, 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 flect. <laughs> That's not a word. I messed one of those up, but yeah, you get the idea. Not exactly great on the timing, but uh, yes, just holding this up constantly while you're weathering a storm of attacks is terrible. Deflect each individual one, and it will work really well. Let me do it one more time. I think I have to deflect every single one to get a... Yeah, there we go. Can you die in this practice? <laughs> no. Oh. I don't think so. Uh, it hurts my posture... But not your health. Yeah, my vitality doesn't seem to get hurt, and I think if they hurt my posture so much like this, I don't think they actually take advantage of the death blow. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. They can't. What a nice guy. Yeah. And they say she will dead. 
I say maybe, but it was alive in Japan in 17th century. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, now let me show vitality and posture. I thought I, I thought I already knew everything about that. I didn't. The lower one's vitality, the slower their posture recovers. For enemies with seemingly unbreakable posture, use techniques such as dodge. Counterattack reduces their vitality, making their posture easier to break. Okay, that doesn't quite explain it all, but basically, when you're just doing a normal straight attack on them, as opposed to a gay attack, um, <laughs> <laughs> if you're just doing a normal attack, the only thing that will do, I think, is hurt their posture. Unless maybe if you like come around to their back or something like that, maybe you'll actually hurt their vitality, that is their health. But normally it only hurts their posture. And since reducing their vitality reduces their posture, if you want to reduce their vitality so that their posture is easier to deal with, it turns out that doing things that are considered counterattacks don't hurt their posture, but rather hurt their vitality. Specifically hurts their vitality and not posture. So if you just do if you just go up to them and press attack, you'll hurt their posture. If you press dodge and then do an attack, which is considered a like counterattack, It'll hurt their vitality, which can make their posture easier to deal with. Hopefully that makes sense. Let me demonstrate. So first, I need to get their vitality down. So actually, let me demonstrate just by doing a normal attack. Normal attack. You can see their posture started to get hurt, but it didn't hurt their vitality, the red bar. That one hurt for some reason. I don't know why. Sometimes it hurts, I guess, if they don't block it. But generally, it only hurts their posture. But, if I do roll attack... It seems to hurt their vitality. Maybe it's just because they're not blocking it? I'm not sure. But it hurts their vitality and then makes their posture easier to deal with. Countering thrust attacks is the next one. So that's one of the three types of perilous attacks. Thrust attacks cannot be guarded, but they can be countered by deflecting or step dodging to the side of them. This is what taught me the difference between guarding and deflecting. So guarding is when you just have your sword up, like this. Right now I'm guarding. Ow. That's guarding, but deflecting is specifically when you press it at just the right time that you kind of like... I don't know, parry or whatever. It's the special thing that requires tight timing. So a thrust attack can't be guarded against. Let me demonstrate by just holding up my sword. They'll try to thrust and it still hurt me. But if I press the guard button at just the right time, just as they attack, you can. Uh, and you can also just dodge it as well, like this. Kind of obvious. I might even be able to jump over it, actually. Let's try that. Eh, not quite. But yeah, it makes sense if they're thrusting straight at you, that dodging to the side would avoid it. And last one is countering sweep attacks. Sweep attacks cannot be guarded or deflected. They must be jumped over to be avoided. Jump kicking an enemy during sweep attacks deals heavy posture damage, often leading directly to a death blow. This is what taught me what jump kicking actually is. So if you jump at an enemy, like, so you're right over them pretty much, jump at them, and then while you're still in the air and over them, you press the jump button again, you do like a kick off of their shoulders or off of their head or something like that. Which I don't think does any damage, but it does hurt their posture a little bit in normal circumstances, but when they're specifically doing a sweep attack, doing that hurts their posture a lot. So check it out. So if I, I can just jump to avoid this. Jump. Come on. Come on. Hello? <laughs> jump. So you can just jump to avoid it, but you can also jump off of their shoulders, 
when they do it as well, which will hurt their posture a lot. So check this out. And if you manage to hurt their posture so much that they're ready to receive a death blow and you're still in the midair, you can press attack and do a death blow like straight down on their head. So that's how I, I think I accidentally at one point actually did that. It's where you like grab them between your legs and like throw them on the ground and stuff. That's how you do it. So in summary, when an enemy is attacking me many times in quick succession, I need to deflect each separate one to hurt their posture a lot. Um, what exactly was vitality and posture about? Oh yes, doing counterattacks and hurting an enemy's vitality is good for making their posture weaker. Learned all about thrust attacks and how, the fact that you can deflect them but not guard them or dodge to the side. And for sweep attacks, you can't deflect or guard them but you can jump on their shoulders and hurt their posture a lot. Also, you can just jump on anybody's shoulders at any time if you want, and it's kind of fun. And hurts their posture a little bit if they're not doing a sweep attack. Oh, and uh, I also haven't demonstrated the special uh, ability, the sweep attack. So you can only equip one combat art at a time. I have the Whirlwind Slash currently equipped. Um, don't remember where it said how to use it. I guess just when I equipped it, but uh, you press the left and right button. At the uh, No, you hold down the left button like guard, and then press the right button, which is the attack button. So hold down the left and then press the right, and it does the special attack. So you can just keep doing it a bunch if you want to. Does that blow a bunch of wind on the grass? Oh, it does. Oh. It makes the Yeah, look at the grass. Nice details. Cool. We so love yes. Good game design. Yeah. So yeah, I just learned like I mean I, I just got schooled. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like I just got five times better in combat. In theory, I haven't actually fought a real opponent yet. Let's, well then let's fucking go. Yeah. Back to the Harada estate. Unlike last time where I defeated all these enemies to get back to where I was before continuing, I'm actually just going to start from the beginning again because I want to test out all this combat stuff. Oh, I tried to jump on their face. Yeah, there we go. See, it doesn't hurt their posture that much. Don't kick mud in my face. Oh, right, the dogs. Oh. Oh, that worked really well. In this day, is this game, dogs are very easy to beat, which is not very realistic, because in real life, dogs have a very strong soul. Yeah. Which makes them resilient. That's true. Oh, there's another statue in oh. here. So close to the other one. Oh, this I think this is where the roosters are. I'm gonna rest. You think there's roosters right here? I feel like... Oh, there's a horse. A murdered Aww, horse. Rip. Probably killed them all so the villagers can escape, I guess. Hmm. <laughs> Doggy? I think the dog ain't on the other side if you're hurting yeah. me. But 
I don't think that can be opened. Yeah, so it seems like jumping on people's faces is not a great idea unless they're doing a sweep attack, generally. Because if they're doing like a, just a normal attack, then it tends to hit you while you're trying to jump at them. Sweep attacks are specifically something you avoid when you jump over them, but normal attacks, you won't avoid it by jumping. So I'm going to stop trying to jump on everybody's head. Not really much of a point. Oh, hell yeah. Destruction. Wanton destruction of... carts. Okay, here's a group. Shit, someone's shooting fire arrows. Uh-oh. I'm gonna go for him. Like I'm doing better. It seems like you do a special attack if you do an attack at the end of a sprint. So like here's a normal attack. Boop. I don't know why it makes a boop noise. Boop. <laughs> and then if you You're just pooping the enemies. <laughs> <laughs> and if you sprint an attack. See that? Like that is different. Yeah. I don't know if that's considered a, a counter attack or if it does like extra damage or what. Well, it's more of a sweep. Yeah. God, this movement feels good. Oh, I think the roosters are on the other side of this door. I remember wrong. Doesn't open from this side. The roosters barricaded it. <laughs> okay, so here's another group. I'll just go at them. Like, that's just guarding, that's not deflecting. Oof. <laughs> yeah, even in the original Dark Souls 2 and 3, the original Dark Souls 2 and 3? That's a weird sentence. Even in Dark Souls 2 and 3, when it comes to dodging or deflecting or anything like that, it's always the slow attacks that mess me up. I'm like, oh, they're about to attack. And then I have to hold it for like another two seconds while they wind up. It's really hard for me for some reason. You know that song that was early... 2000, I was like, wind up, wind up, wind up, oh yeah, wind up, wind up, wind up, oh yeah. I don't, I'm sorry. Oh, F. <laughs> Akko Sugar, sugar candy made in Sunpo Temple, sustaining Akko's blessing, boosts attack power for a time. The spirits embody excess karma, one must bite down hard on the candy and endure what has been brought to pass. Door what has been brought to pass and it's red. Is this like one of those um oh, what were they called? Those like a little red balls candies that are super super hot. It's probably like a really spicy candy and you have to endure it. Oh. It makes you angry and do more damage. <laughs> That's how that works, right? Yeah, in real life, if you feed me really hot candy, I'll go fucking hulk on you. <laughs> I'm trying to do a group attack, but it's really not working out.
No pellets. Oh, I think I just don't have them on my hotbar. Although I probably actually don't have any pellets. I do! Three! You should use the loot balloon. Mmm. <laughs> yeah. Wealth or possession? Possession? Possession. Pop it. Butterflies come out. It's really pretty. Oh, we got all the drunk ones left, right? <laughs> I don't think this one's drunk. Oh, that was a stab attack, so that would be one to dodge or deflect. I'm like testing out my combat abilities more than like really fighting. <laughs> nice excuse. Excuse. <laughs> <sighs> Fuck. There's so much to remember about the combat. I'm like, things appearing. What type of attack is it? Oh, thrust attack. What can I do? Can I dodge? Can I jump? Can I deflect? And then while thinking about that, I'm dead. <laughs> Try to get this archer really sneakily. Okay. <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ. Oh. See ya. I'm not so sure about the sweep attack. I'm trying to use it, but it's like... Fuck me. As soon as I jump on the ground, wolves are just gonna run at me. Yeah, because they want pets. Like, what do I do here? <sighs> I don't know what to do. All the multi deflect and everything doesn't teach me how to deal with this fucking situation. How do I, I even kill the, one enemy? I think it's the fact that it is so, like, close quarters. It's like no room. I'm like, oh, well, I'll just pick off one, jump on the ground, and now the wolf's behind me in half a second. <laughs> like, uh, I just don't know how to deal with this. I learned so many combat things, but that doesn't help me on how to deal with this. Like, what the fuck am I supposed to do? Okay, I'm gonna make one more attempt at that big group of people. Uh, but before that, I found a little sort of secret area back here. I've already used my resurrect, by the way, so I've got one gourd in full health, almost. I think I'll use one of those sugars. Right before my fight. I can't help but feel like I'm missing something with that fight. Like, maybe... I don't know. Let me try to be stealthy a different way. Maybe there is a way to pick off a significant amount of them. What was that? Dogs like chomping on wood? Are they beavers? <laughs> Let's use one of those sugars. Mm. Attack power. Reduces vitality damage. That's probably the best. Reduces posture damage. Nah, let's do this one. Like, how? <laughs> Alright, I need to kill these freaking wolves. He 
can't be sneaky. Don't sneak. Okay, so I think my tactic there was cheese them out in that little place they couldn't pathfind through correctly. <sighs> Don't think that's how you're supposed to do it. Take what you can, babe. <laughs> I don't have a resurrection. You do. Wait, I do? I thought I didn't. Oh, maybe I go in from combat or... Yeah. yeah. Ah. <sighs> Thank God. I remember I talked to them before. Yeah, I have been here before. Yes, and that's where all the roosters are. And that's where you open the door. Yep, and I eavesdropped on these people. Save the roosters for later. Rooster time? Yeah. If you uh, open the shortcut first, though. Oh, is that what that is? Yeah. It probably is, huh? Yes. Okay, I made actual progress. Yay. Alright, I'm going to try doing this at them. That's not very good. I guess they cost 10 cent each. I guess that's maybe not that much. Yeah. And you can shoot them pretty fast, too. Music's so sad. I mean, yeah, it's been a slaughter. <laughs> yeah. I think that's all that's here.
Oh yeah, you can like do a double jump off of a wall in the other direction if you want, like this. That's that secret area where I picked up a thing? Yes. Ooh, hey. My coin purse. Yeah, you can really just keep jumping over walls. Like, what's over here? Beautiful flowers. Yeah. Oh, someone to talk to. <笑>ちょっと <laughs> あんだけご立派な塔だ。きっと中にはお宝が閉まわれてるに違いねえ。足ならそう思いやすね。Thanks. Hmm. Thanks. Creep. <laughs> Treasure in a pagoda, whatever that is, some sort of building, I assume, on a cliff. Pagoda sounds familiar. えー、旦那、よそはさ、どっかの崖上に、きっと中に足なら it's time for a wife Google session. Yeah, I can keep playing while you Google. Yeah, it's a building that has like... I don't know how to explain it, but like... The house is like sectioned off into... Yeah, I don't know how to explain it either, but it's really recognizable. So just Google like pagoda, and you'll probably see what what we're talking about. Yeah. Bundled Jiso statue, small Buddha effigy bound in red cloth, raised in prayer between one's palms to restore a node of resurrective power. To enswath a Jiso statue is to express feelings of parental love. The bundle of cloth is to at least ensure that the little one goes on in peace. So wait, is it a dead baby? Uh, no, it's a effigy. Small Buddha effigy. Inside of a little, like, a, it's a Buddha baby, basically. <laughs> inside of a little bundle. Oh. Mm, it's to restore a node of resurrective power. Oh. Oh. That's actually really good. Yeah. Oh, you look like shit. Oh, God, yeah, I do, don't I? Pick up, up your hands and get some rainwater on your face. <laughs> hey, wait. I heard somebody's voice through there. Yeah, and I see stuff on the other side. There's some loot, too. I wonder how you get there. Can't jump into the bamboo. Damn. I just wonder if there's any statue nearby that I can unlock. Oh, you mean sculptures idol? Yeah. いや、いかねばならぬ。独特の中に忍びなりの装兵がまだっている。あれは捨てられよう。どうしても私が行かねば。ああ、無理です。この傷ではとても。I doubt they'll be new since, um, you just unlocked that shortcut. True. Who is 
族ではないあなたは若様のあ,あよかった忍び殿族どもの目的は若様ですあやつらはすでに竹林坂上にいたりお屋敷に火をかけています若様の脱出も叶わなかったご様子お願いです忍び殿若様をお救いくださいこれをあなたに託しますおっエンテドパウダーありがとうかお役立てを承知 So the young lord, who's the person we're sworn to protect, is at an estate that's been put on fire up a cliff or up a hill or something like that. That's probably the place that has the treasure they were talking about. Wait, was this another interaction? No. Talking to people through, like, through windows and stuff where you can't even see them reminds me of Bloodborne. Yeah, you figured it out. That's why I'm killing them all. And then that's just back down there. Have I been in here? Oh, maybe not. No,、nope, I haven't. Aniki, the here are Kono Odo Deskai. Yeah, so go ye. Sugini Guru. Kendo. Hona, I'm on a demo arriba. Gizzo Samani. Yamanka. Otoke Samani, what Teda Shimuyo. Nando Yawaka, the Tago. Okura, my de Okre, Aniki. Tago de Gome, you. Shinobi Axe of the Monkey. Oh! Wasn't this mentioned by that person? They said, like, take the axe from the temple and cut him up? Yeah. A heavy black iron axe used by Shinobi can be fitted to the Shinobi prosthetic to become a working prosthetic tool. This boorish axe is used less for cutting and more for breaking things with its weight. Once the favored weapon of a Shinobi, shinobi known as the Bounding Monkey of the Sunken Valley, it was lost along with his left arm. Yeah, look at that thing. It has a tiny, like an absolutely minuscule handle and a huge head. <laughs> Damn, my cat just jumped on my lap from the bed. It was like k a t h u n k I felt that. And now she's playing with the microphone. <laughs> Baby. I'm videoing this so that you can go in the video. Oh, heck yeah. <laughs> Baby, what are you doing up here? I'm trying to play. Yeah, she's such a baby. Okay, you want to come here?、Yeah. So I can't put a prosthetic on without going to the sculptor, right? No. Yeah, you can't do that in the field. Just to double check? Yeah. Yeah, I would definitely prefer something like that as a prosthetic tool rather than these shurikens that I almost never want to use. <laughs> okay, I'm just going to go a little bit further up here. See if there's、uh, an idol or something, a sculpture. Oh, yeah, the shield people. 
These fuckers. Oh, can you jump on their faces? Hmm, maybe. Oof. Oh. I'm dead dead. Uh, okay. Yeah, I think this is a pretty good place to end the episode. <laughs> uh, in summary, I learned a crap ton about combat. It didn't seem to help me much initially, but uh, I actually made some progress. No, no. I'm praying. Leave me alone. <laughs> So, I hope you've enjoyed <laughs> What the fuck? <laughs> I hope you've enjoyed so far, and I'll be back soon. Bye-bye.